So we have been tasked with making sure that we leave a little bit of buffer in every week, half the day on Friday, to take care of any miscellaneous items that we may have run behind on that week. Give us a chance to catch up. This isn't a practice that PMI would condone, but it is a practice you sometimes see where somebody will build in an automatic buffer like that into their calendar. So what we're going to do here is just like we were altering calendars before, we're going to come up here to change working time. But then, instead of using the exceptions, we don't want to make an exception for every Friday or something like that, we'll come over here uh, to work weeks and we can actually change the default value for the work week. So let's just click on the details here and we can see what those defaults are. Sunday we don't work. Monday we work eight hours and two shifts, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, with one hour's break for lunch. You'll see that all these by default say use Microsoft default times for these days. What we're going to do is come in here to Friday and we're going to override that. Now if I come on down here and say set days to these specific work times, I will tell you it's somewhat frustrating because uh, it can be difficult to delete, for example, the afternoon time here. You'll start getting into error messages about how you haven't entered a valid time. It's hard to delete the whole thing. I don't know exactly why it is. It seems to be a little bit of a bug with Microsoft Project. My shortcut is to um, select the day I want and then s select set days to non-working time. And what that does is that clears all that information out there. Then if I come back and I say set these days to the specific working times, then I will um, be able to enter my morning shift. Leaving the afternoon to catch up on other work. Hit OK. OK again. And now if I come in here and I actually schedule some tasks, and let's say that uh, my duration on each one of these is um, 40 hours. You can already see that while it should fit in a normal work week, it's not because we're not working on Fridays. We can also enter that duration as days. So if I put five days, you see that that's the same thing. Oops, so when I put in six days. Okay, so once again, the reason why um, this has to be carried over, if it really takes five days or 40 hours, is because on Friday we don't have a full eight hours. So we have to pick that up on Monday. We have to work on Monday morning. So if we zoom in here, we'll see that we're working on Monday morning in order to um, deal with that. So here I think we can actually yeah, look at the quarter days and we can actually see that on Monday we're having to carry that over because way back here on Friday uh, we're only get, getting to work for one short period here. Okay, So we're not getting our normal eight hours, we just get four hours. So that should show you how we actually can change the working time of our weeks entirely. This will be applied basically forever going forward for every week that Microsoft Project schedules.